welcome to Meals with Maria and my first of many weekend prep videos. Each weekend, I'm going to be bringing you the prep that I do for my family of four. We'll be making snacks, breakfasts, and some make-ahead dinners, as well as doing some light cleaning if necessary. Today, I'm cleaning out my fridge and making some zucchini bread, two-ingredient pumpkin muffins, a fall chicken salad, and some breakfast wraps. When I'm cleaning my fridge, I really like to just pull everything out and categorize it. It makes it a lot easier when putting everything back away, and then when I go back into my fridge to find things, I can find similar items in similar spots. I'm going to throw away anything that is old or going bad, and then clean out all of the drawers. This is extremely important. Things just kind of fall to the bottom of those drawers. I definitely don't do this every week, but when I am cleaning, I want to pull those out and wash them in the sink. For cleaning, I'm just using Lysol spray and some paper towels. And for any tough spots, I am using the Scrub Daddy Eraser Daddy. You can see down at the bottom there, some ground beef had spilled and that part got really sticky. So I had to scrub that harder and use my Scrub Daddy Eraser Daddy. All right, have you guys seen this trick before? I just saw it on a reel the other day and it blew my mind. So you just spin the bread and then you cover it up with the bag because my kids happen to lose the little ties all the time. This is a really fun trick. Overall, I was really happy with how the fridge turned out. I do like to put the kids' snacks in an accessible area in the middle shelf for them. It's an area where they can reach and kind of go in and grab their own stuff at any time. When I'm looking in my fridge, I found a bunch of things that were snacks that the kids hadn't eaten. I had these energy balls, but they were kind of wrapped up and no one could really see them. So I just put them in these Ziploc bags and put them in that little kid area so that they could access them easily. And I'll tell you, they went wild for them. They just didn't know that they were there. Sometimes you just have to wrap things in a visible place for your kids to see them to make sure that they eat them. They were gone in like two days. I also have a video on how to make these and I'll post it below. 
I really love cleaning my fridge out on the weekends because I can find things that I can make other things out of. So I had this chicken breast I just made a couple days ago and honestly I probably would have forgotten about it had I not cleaned out the fridge. But I decided I would make a autumn chicken salad with golden apples as a lunch option for Dan for the week. For this chicken salad, I'm just using one chicken breast and one golden delicious apple chopped up. I'm going to top that with about a quarter cup of craisin and a quarter cup of chopped walnuts. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper and a teaspoon of salt as well as a quarter cup of mayonnaise. The mayonnaise part is really to taste. I like a little bit more. If you like less, then do that. I'm just putting it on a focaccia bread that I also had made the other day and found in my fridge and wrapping them up to use for lunches for the I also had a little bit of chickpeas left and some salad left over after making all the sandwiches. So I figured I'll just mix this together and make it as a nice little salad that I can eat for lunch one day. This was really good and I actually make this separately on a different occasion because it was so delicious. For this next snack idea, I'm just making some little snack boxes. If you've watched my previous videos, I got these snack boxes from Amazon and I use them all the time. I will link them below. I am just putting some already sliced up carrots that I found in the fridge. And I also have a little tiny container of guacamole that I'm gonna put with another set of carrots. And then I'm just using the rest of this hummus that I have. Really don't want to waste anything. I hate wasting food. Then I have this cranberry almond trail mix, which is from Whole Foods. Again, if you've seen my videos, you know that I absolutely love this mix. I just love to make these little boxes with a little something to dip, some cubes of cheddar cheese, and some trail mix type stuff. I recently bought some bread flour for the first time. I've definitely baked bread before without bread flour, and I'm wondering if it's different. But to store this, I got a new OXO container, and I have these awesome little labels that I absolutely love to use. It makes my pantry look really pretty and everything's so organized. The really cool thing about these labels is that there's like 200 plus of them, and I've actually never had an instance where there was not one for what I needed to make. Now I'm just gonna make up some quick breakfast wraps that can be microwaved in the mornings during the week for breakfast. I'm using about 10 eggs, a little bit of soy milk, some cheddar cheese, and those tortillas that I absolutely love from the Dollar Tree.
Now, I feel like this is the most important part for making sure that these wraps are good during the week and not soggy. You definitely want to crisp them up on a pan. So I'm just using the same pan I used to cook the eggs. I didn't really wash it out that great, but you can just place them on and crisp them up a little bit. It definitely helps for when you're microwaving them so that they don't just com become completely soggy. It's also really important to let these cool off before you wrap them up. So I put them on my counter and let them sit for almost an hour before they cooled down enough to wrap up. I also like to use a parchment paper as well as tin foil. I just feel like it helps uh, keep the moisture out and keeps it from getting too soggy. These are definitely a favorite in our household. My husband loves them and we have no problem having him grab one in the morning before he goes to work. All right, it is time for the most exciting moment of this video, my two ingredient pumpkin muffins. I don't know if you've heard of these before. I've definitely been making them for a few years. They're kind of one of those things that's out there on the internet, so it's not like anything I invented. But you just use one can of pumpkin puree and one box of spice mix. And honestly, that's it. You just mix it up and pop them in the oven, and they are so delicious. Just want to mix it up. Put them in a muffin pan and cook at 325 for about 18 to 20 minutes. Alright guys, it's that easy. These are so delicious. My family loves them and you would never know how simple they are. For the next thing I'm going to make, it's actually the next morning. As these things often happen, it just takes a while to make everything. So we've stretched into the next day and I'm making zucchini bread. I have so many zucchinis from my garden. I am going to try and pick the best ones that are kind of going bad the fastest. And I need a large zucchini, so this one is going to stay because it has the top on it. And then, unfortunately, a couple of the other ones, when I ripped them off, they um, lost their little tops there. So those are the perfect zucchinis to use for the zucchini bread because they are going to go bad the fastest. This recipe is my mom's recipe. I'm going to link that below for you guys so that you can make this yourself if you'd like. It is honestly the best, moistest zucchini bread that I've ever had, so I would not mess around with a different recipe. To shred my zucchini, I love using a food processor. If I was just using a smaller one, I might just use a handheld, but the food processor makes it extremely easy to slice up all the zucchini that I need to slice.
finishing up the zucchini bread, I'm just gonna make half with mini chocolate chips and half without, because one of my kids does not like chocolate. It's crazy, I know. And that is pretty much it for today. We're just gonna make that last zucchini bread. I really just wanted to tell you guys that I appreciate you watching the video so much, and I'm hoping that this can be a helpful tool to um, get you some ideas for breakfasts and lunches and increase your productivity and make you feel like a complete rock star for the week ahead. So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll also be posting another um, breakfast idea video down below that if you like this one, you may enjoy.